Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Jasmine, aka Dash of Jazz, and I talk all about cooking, traveling, and living well. Today we're in my kitchen, as you can see, and as you can probably tell from the setup, I'm bringing you another cocktail recipe. This one is not just any cocktail recipe, it is a brown sugar pineapple mojito. So we're incorporating the fresh, um, classic flavors of a mojito, uh, rum, club soda, fresh mint leaves, uh, simple syrup with a twist, and lime juice. The twist is my brown sugar pineapple simple syrup, hence the name of the cocktail, and that is going to add some color and some flavor to the mix that you will not soon forget. I use this syrup for all kinds of different cocktail recipes. Some of them are probably already up on the channel, and I have a video, a really quick short on how to make it. So I'm going to add a box that you can click on somewhere here uh, to get to that video if you don't have the recipe yet. Let's get into the details. So like I said, a classic mojito consists of rum, which we have here, lots of fresh mint. We're going to muddle those leaves to release all of the oils and get those flavors um, into the cocktail. And then we'll also add some more for garnish. Also need a lime for fresh lime juice. These pineapples are really just for decoration and for garnish, we're not gonna add them into the cocktail, though you could if you felt like. What's really going to give us the pineapple flavor though is my brown sugar pineapple simple syrup. It is a must for cocktails. I use it in my pineapple whiskey sipper. I use it in a henny cocktail. I use it with gin, uh, with bourbon. It goes with just about anything and it imparts a deep tropical kind of caramelly flavor to any drink you add it to. It's a must. I have a short um, video for it already on the channel. I'll add a box somewhere up in here so that you can click on it, get that in your life, and then resume uh, building this cocktail. There's effervescence in a mojito, which comes from club soda. Um, this is not the same thing as sparkling water or tonic water, just FYI. They tend to get used interchangeably, but you really want club soda for this. You also don't want like a um, soda soda for this, so not Sprite, not do 7-Up, none of that club soda. So we're going to be using a cocktail shaker. Just briefly, if you don't have one, you could use a tall glass and then like a strainer or a mesh seed to get the same kind of effect. We're using a jigger. I think you know me, I'm all about the substitutions. So if you don't have a jigger, grab a shot glass and that will have the same measurements as roughly this large side of the, side of the jigger, which is one and a half fluid ounces. Last tool on deck is a muddler. I love the muddler. It has these little grips at the bottom that really tear into the um, flavors that we're trying to add. So this is gonna go on the mint leaves, really release those oils. If you don't have a muddler, grab a kitchen spoon and just use the end of it. It'll work almost the same. So this recipe will start with three mint leaves. Try to get big ones if you can into the cocktail shaker. And then we're going to add two ounces We're going to take the muddler and do what it says, muddle. And what this step does is releases the oils from the mint. That's how you get the fresh mint flavor into the cocktail without actually like biting into the leaves. And it melts it all with the simple syrup. Now we're going to add two ounces of white rum to the cocktail shaker. So with the large side of the jigger, that is a full one, and then just under another half because I'm not really strict with my liquor measurements and cocktail recipes. I don't know if you're the same. Um, trying to get there, okay? And next is going to be three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. I like to cut my lime into wedges. So that is about three wedges, gives you 
three quarters of an ounce. So normally, with a lot of cocktails, you would add ice to the shaker because you're trying to chill all the ingredients. But with this one, we're really just trying to mix everything up get all those flavors together. So we have a highball glass filled with ice. Drain the mixture in over the ice. Club soda. Now this is where things get fun, in my opinion. The garnishes, I like to do it up. Mojito is such a simple drink. It's actually one of, I think it's the first cocktail that I ever had after I was like of legal drinking age. And I just think when you have that simplicity, you want to do it up a little bit in the presentation. So we have, of course, a lime wheel. We have some sprigs of fresh mint. I'm gonna do two because why not? Things are looking gorgeous. Um, and because this is a brown sugar pineapple mojito, I'm going to add a little wedge of pineapple. It's just simply stunning. This drink is a whole mood in and of itself. I know you see it. I'm about to taste it. The word for this cocktail is wow. So try it. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Let me know. Talk to me in the comments. I would love to hear from you. And make sure you hit that subscribe button because I put out fresh recipes and content like this every single week. It's not always cocktails, but more often than not lately, it's cocktails. Thank you for watching.